how early it is. <laughs> Hey, man. Hey! <laughs> we just got to Runaway Bay, Jamaica. Oh, we're running on very little sleep As right now. As you can now. tell, very we flew out of Columbus at 5.45, made it to Jamaica at 11, just got into our room. I don't have my Apple Watch, so I don't even know what time it is. I have no idea. I think it's around it's 3 o'clock. Oh, okay. And we're super exhausted, but we finally made it. We got to check out our room. It's super awesome. Um, we're, we're staying at Bahia Principe on the luxury side. There's two sides to this resort. There's the grand side and there's a the luxury side, adults only. That's where we are staying at. And we kind of walked around the resort a little bit um, before we were able to get to our room and had lunch at the buffet, which was kind of cool. Um, and everything's really beautiful here. Especially this view, so we're gonna take a little tour around the room, so stay tuned. All right, Joe, give us a nice tour. All right, so beautiful. first let's start with this beautiful bathroom. This is a nice hot tub, like, jacuzzi. I can't wait to get inside that. And then this is where you can have your diarrhea at. <laughs> and it has a door to do it in private, so that's what's important. I say you had to make it a little weird. Anyways, shower and sinks, nice little bathroom. All right, and then this is a special little feature that they showed us. Obviously, the lockbox is very important to put all of your passports, your IDs, your money, anything that you need to keep safe. Obviously, your standard uh, ironing board, your, your hangers. Obviously, you want to keep your, your clothes looking sharp. And here it is. Look at the canopy. I always wanted one when I was a little girl, so I'm very excited. And we also forgot to mention, uh, there's like this random window that you can like see through to the bathroom, which is kind of strange, but I guess if you want to watch somebody in the bathroom, you can. And then this is a very, so they got us stocked up with some Jamaican rum, man. <laughs> oh. And then, uh, Nice little mini freeze, freezer. These crunchies. There's some beer in there and some pop and water. It's a red stripe. So this is a Jamaican brew. Crack it open, see if you like it. Crack it open later. <laughs> they give us a little mini bar here. Looks like some, oh, you already said that. Yeah, I did. Out. Stay tuned. <laughs> and then this is a nice little sitting area, but this is the main view out here. Look at this view. So we booked the resort at the link below and it is a sea view and so we were able to get a lot of special accommodations such as a wedding anniversary. Um, but we are looking forward to staying about six nights here and looking at having some fun. I would absolutely give it about a 9.3 out of 10 right now, so exceeding our expectations. It's exceeded our expectations. <laughs> So last night we ate at Picasso, which was a super 
yummy restaurant and they had a really awesome staff there, super nice server. Um, it was so good, we were so tired that we forgot to get footage of it. So we just got up, we're gonna head to check out a buffet and then have a cool day to relax and do nothing for the whole day because that's what we want to do. Because we're so tired still. So. Hey, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. 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 So we had a phenomenal time at the pool today, just having some drinks, relaxing, and now I'm so excited about dinner tonight. We are having uh, the knife tonight. Joe is super excited about the knife. He has brought it up multiple times because we have done um, a lot of research and found a lot of great reviews for this steakhouse, so we're super excited to try the ribeye. morning today is an ocean day so we are going to go out to get some breakfast and then we're gonna go check out the beach for a little bit well a little bit tired last night my power went out strangely around like one o'clock in the morning and it didn't come back on until three um we called ricardo uh, downstairs he apologized uh, but they did end up getting the power back on so it was super hot out last night um so <laughs> exhausted but anyways we're gonna have a good day today you got beef ricardo <laughs> i mean he seemed like a good guy but he didn't he didn't validate my frustrations at 2 o'clock in the morning. What did you want him to do? Rub your feet? I was going to think of... I mean, he could have offered the butler service. Put he could you. at least massage my feet. They could have offered me a late, late night snack. Hey, man. We're going to the beach. So 
Dulce Vita was the restaurant. We had so much fun. Um, probably our favorite, I would say, because we got to sit by the beach, enjoy some Italiano. Um, yeah, definitely our fave. Loved it. Good morning, so we are at day three in this amazing place. Um, last night we had a good dinner at the Italian restaurant. We just came back, um, just relaxed. And this morning, we're gonna go grab some breakfast and we had such a good time yesterday snorkeling. So we're gonna go back to the beach um, and see if we can see any more fish. So it should be a fun day. <laughs> Right now, deep blue water sea. It's time. Right now, right now. I'm a little a little It's looking too deep. So yesterday was a super fun day. Um, we started off the day at the beach snorkeling. We had a great time, saw a lot of awesome things. Um, it's probably been our fave so far. Hung out at the pool all day. I think we both have a little bit of sunburn going on. Um, definitely a lot hotter and humid here than um, some of the other places we've been. So, um, And then we ended our night at, um, it was like the market, world market buffet uh, here, which it looks really, really nice and upscale, but the food kind of tastes the same as the other buffets, but it was, it was nice. We had a good time, um, and yeah, so now we're going to get ready to go have some breakfast, and I think today's going to be another pool day. about to have dinner at Rodizio, um, which is like a Brazilian style steakhouse. Super excited because we've had it before at Barcelo in uh, Cancun. So we know it's good and we're excited. All 
right guys, so our trip is coming to a close. Um, we are going to be heading to the airport today, here in about an hour or so, but we kind of just wanted to, um, for anyone who is coming to this resort or Jamaica, just give some basic info for anyone watching that is just honestly fast forwarding for the information for their own trip. <laughs> Um, we, a couple things, wanted to definitely highlight all the positives here. Um, I'll let you go over those because I think yeah. there's so, a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I think the biggest thing has been the room has been absolutely amazing. I mean, we have never stayed at a resort with such an incredible view. Again, um, we got the sea view, um, so it, we were able to see like ocean front essentially, so that was really cool. Um, it's also a very clean room. Very clean room, very clean resort. I would say the cleanliness of the resort, if you're rating it from, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say it's about an 8, 9, mm -hmm. uh, 10. It's very clean. Yeah, very clean here. Um, the service, as far as like housekeeping, I mean, they stock our mini fridge up every day. Um, the room is always clean when we get here, so that's been a very um, positive thing. Another huge positive was the beaches were absolutely the amazing. Best. The best. Um, the whitest sand that you could ever imagine, the clearest ocean water. Like you truly felt like you were at. The sand feels fake, like the fake stuff you buy at the store. Yeah, it was so, so cool. Yeah. Um, any other positives that I'm missing? I mean, all around we've had a great time. Like yeah. it's been a wonderful time. Um, there are a couple of things that we just wanted to kind of bring up as far as like the food. Um, we're gonna be real. The food's not great. Um, we've been to a few uh, all inclusives at this point, and honestly, the food just, I guess we're kind of jaded because so, we can compare to other places, but food's not great. Just being honest, the restaurants were pretty good, um, but the buffets are. No. I mean, no. <laughs> before we, I mean, we always try to get a later flight so we can at least stop out for breakfast in the morning. And we're not even stopping at breakfast this morning because there's no point. There's just no I'm, point. I'm, I'm ready to go. And um, yeah, <laughs> the customer service is the biggest highlight I want to focus on. Probably one of the worst customer service places I've ever been to. I, I also, before we say that, I want to say we've had some great customer service is here as well. Like there have been true, some true. really nice people. I don't want to say the whole resort, but we've also had a few instances um, with customer service that were really bad, like really, really bad, like where people were like making fun of us and stuff like that, like staff. And I just don't think anybody who's paying thousands of dollars should ever have to go through that. Um, so yeah, we just, we weren't really happy with some of the customer <clears throat> service experiences. I watched the video yesterday and it was like the, the couple said the same thing. It was like a disconnect between us and the service. Like it was just something that was just not connecting right. And it was just, I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, Definitely a disconnect somewhere, but um, yeah, so. But overall, I mean, we had a good time together. We made a lot of cool oh. memories. I mean, um, our times at the pool, at the beach, like. Were phenomenal. Completely wonderful. It was just the, there were those few things that were just like, oof, you know. I don't know if I would like necessarily recommend coming here for everyone. Uh, it just. I think if you've been to a lot of resorts and you have that experience or that knowledge, probably would not recommend you coming here. Um, but if it's your first time at All Inclusive, I would say sure. And, I mean, it was a fun time. Like or, it really was. or if you are a big snorkeler, scuba diver, this would be a great place, um, honestly, because you're not in your room or, you know, you're not really around here much anyway. You're out in the water. The water's perfect here. Like, yeah. I am going to miss this ocean for, for yeah. sure. But if you're like a foodie and you really care <laughs> yeah. about your food, no. I would not come here. No. But overall, we did have a good time though. We, we made a lot of great memories. We did. And, it was really, um, really fun. It was really good. Really good time to get um, so. But, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We're going to head to the airport because it's time to go. And we're going to end this vlog. But, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, we'll see you later. Jamaican is so happy. Oh.